If you want to make short form content that actually works, I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. It's gotten me 20,000 plus followers, 200,000 something views on certain things. And I just use this process and this style. People tend to like it and I'm going to show you how I do it. So I'm recording myself here and then I'm recording uh, the screen. I'm going to be using ScreenFlow to do this. And I'm just going to take one of these other trainings I did and I'm going to talk about it a different way. And I'm going to explain just one of the seven day email automation campaigns that we run each time we create a lead magnet to generate leads. It's funny, this is an actual lead magnet itself that I'm going to be creating, but I'm just going to take a piece out of it to create a piece of content to put on the internet to get people over to my website that are interested in this stuff. So the problem I'm solving is what is the email sequence that you create right after somebody opts into the phone? So I just thought I'd do it this way. Everybody wants to know what it is all the time. I've got a little light here, this same light. I've got it down here in blue. I've got my camera here, light here. Uh, I got my mic here. I've got these plugged into this so I can hear my voice through this. This is how I create these. So I want this to just be one minute long and I've got this screen up so I can just walk through it real quick. It goes over a minute, whatever, but that's the goal. Okay, so I'm going to be talking to this camera through this thing. You'll just see me do the basic hook story offer type deal. And then what I'll do is uh, once I create this on here, I'll edit it afterwards so you can see how I do that real quick. And then I'm going to take it and share it to my phone, which is what I'm recording on over here. And I'll just airdrop it from my computer to my phone. Then I'll put it into CapCut. And then I'm on my phone so I can put it on all the little short form sites, Instagram, TikTok. I mean, I put them on everything. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> all right, so let's do this piece of content. Let's edit it. You'll see how I do this. And hopefully this helps you and shows you what you can do. Go up here and I'm going to click record. Let me configure it make sure it can see me here. I can see my voice going. This is in screen flow. And it's so it's recording this, this, this. Three tracks. Voice track, screen, computer screen track, camera track. And I just put the blue lights and stuff kind of dangle them around. It's kind of like ambient lighting in a Mercedes or something. And I like to shoot my content in one take. It's just more natural to me. You know, when you talk to somebody, you're not like, Oh, hold on a second. Can I re-say that? <laughs> I mean, maybe you do that. All right, so I want to show you the email sequence. So right when somebody opts in and becomes a lead, this is the seven-day email sequence that we use to get people to go back and, you know, look at our offers, look at what we've given them, give them help, and also simultaneously sell them our product. So I'm just going to go through this real quick. I can go into it deeper later, or you can check more stuff out at the website. But here's the process. They go out here from social media. If you, it's kind of hard to see, but you, they go from social media out here on the left, then they opt in here, and then boom, this is that this is that sequence right here, okay? First email that goes out, it goes out automatically when they opt in. That's a welcome and we deliver the value of the of the lead magnet, the thing we gave them for free. The next day, so we wait a day, then we send another email. It's a deep dive into the pain points of the problem that they have that we solve for them. Waits a day, kicks another email out. Day three, we introduce the solution and we give them a quick win. We introduce how we solve those problems and then we give them something that they can do right now to solve part of the problem. Waits, okay, so that ended day. up, I'm done now. That ended up being like, two minutes. So now I'm just going to do create new document. And this is where a lot of people get hung up. So you notice it's in 1920 by 1080. I mean, it's 4k, but I want to stack these and they need to be in, you know, short form. The reason why I like to keep it under a minute is because then I can just post it on every platform. YouTube doesn't accept more than a minute at this time. So what I'll do is these are the tracks down here. I know you can't see this too well, but so what I do is I leave this in here so that I can create a long form video with this if I want to. Like I can put it on YouTube since it is longer. I can take chunks out of this, but what I'll do is I'll grab these tracks right here, which is all three tracks. And then I go to new document and I go and I select the vertical. So it's it's 1080 wide by 1920 tall. Okay, so I just click on that. It looks almost like a phone as you can see. Then I just paste it in here and I take this track, which is me, and I just kind of move it to about right here. I leave space at the bottom where I can put my captions. And then I take the, the bigger screen and I move it up here. It becomes the top part. Okay, so I'll go like that. Okay, so there it is, they're stacked. And then with the tracks down here in the bottom, here's how you do this. So I go to this top one, it's the video and the audio. It kind of bakes it into one track. So I'll detach the audio. I have the video track. So this is the video track. I have the audio track. And then I have the visual track. I go to the start of it and I clip off the front. I go to the back and I clip off the back. I come up here to the audio and I have this little preset with a bass treble boost. And then I smooth out the volume levels. And then I click on me and I have a preset that kind of just sharpens things up, kind of 
pops the colors, get everything positioned. I click on the computer screen track, which is the bottom one, it recorded my screen. And up here, there is this uh, radar click effect. I put that on because sometimes it makes a thing that gets their brain going again. And then I'll pointer zoom, I'll make it bigger. And then there's this animation effect uh, for a circle. And I just set that because I want them to be able to kind of have that thing that's, it kind of keeps their attention too. Then what I'll do, I will come in here and wherever there's big gaps in the track, this, I just come in and take them out. This right here, like the, this is a gap here where there's, there's really nothing being said. It's literally like it's a half a second. <laughs> but when you take those out of it, it just makes everything like <laughs> and it just fits that attention span style. Okay, and then when I get done, I export it. I put it into CapCut. I add captions to it, which literally takes a second because CapCut is amazing. And they just put them on there and they're like 99% accurate. I save it and then I just disperse it on all the social media platforms. That's how I do it. This should give you a lot of value. You might have to watch it a few times. Uh, but if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Other than that, um, you should come join us over at Build Lab so you can learn how to do this faster, easier, uh, have more fun doing it. It'll happen much quicker, much easier, way less expensive, uh, made it affordable for you. So you should go get that, join us, and uh, you know, start leveraging instead of being leveraged if that's the case.